A wonderful good afternoon from Washington Dallas International Airport. Today or tonight I want to fly back home to Germany with Lufthansa in their business class here from Washington to Munich. Believe me or not, this will be my first flight on an Airbus A350. Boeing's Dreamliner, the 787 I tried so many times with United or maybe you saw my video with Saudi from Male to Jeddah, but I never tried the A350. Unbelievable, but today it is the day and I'm very excited. So let's go inside the building, check in and then we find out what Lufthansa offers inside this plane. Right behind me you see the check-in area of the Lufthansa Group. That means there are the counters for Lufthansa, Austrian Airlines and Brussels Airlines. My check-in is done, but it is a little bit chaotic at the moment. The Austrian flight from Vienna or to Vienna, the same which I took a few, de few days ago, is cancelled. It seems many passengers didn't notice it before and now they are upset and I think everybody can understand this feeling. Traveling or flying at the moment is just crazy and makes not too much fun. You see it? Only because of this plane there, I sweat now. Lufthansa's Boeing 747-8 just arrived from Frankfurt and I was running the last meters to catch it. <laughs> oh my god, but it is not the plan for my flight today. My Airbus A350 from Munich will arrive in about one and a half hours. I'm very early at the airport and there are two flights every day. One a Boeing 747 from Frankfurt and one a350 from Munich. The whole security ch check took me about 30-35 minutes, so not too bad. 
if I compare it to other airport with such long queues. But for now, there is one Lufthansa business and one Lufthansa Senator Lounge here in Washington, Dallas. So I think after this I need a drink now. Let's go to the lounge. I'm now inside the Lufthansa Senator Lounge here at Washington Airport. Both lounges are reopened after the COVID pandemic. Here on the upper floor you find the Senator Lounge. Downstairs is the Business Class Lounge. It looks like a typical Lufthansa Lounge. You have the same chairs like in Germany. You have power sockets at every seat. Hot meals, cold meals, free Wi-Fi, drinks, whatever you want. So uh, not bad. I will enjoy now the views, maybe I have one or two beers, work a little bit and wait for boarding. Cheers! Gate B49 is the gate for the flight to Munich today and it's located next to the Lufthansa lounge. So the stuff said we can board the plane right out of the lounge. That's amazing and it happened only one time before. In 2019 I was in Frankfurt gate C16 on my flight to Buenos Aires. However the plane today is an Airbus A350-900 and it was the first A350 delivered to Lufthansa. So, first Lufthansa A350 for my first flight inside an A350. <laughs> it's, it was delivered in December 2016 to Lufthansa, so five years old for now. And this plane offers 48 seats in business class, 21 seats in premium economy and 224 seats in economy class.
That's it. This is Lufthansa's business class inside their Airbus A350. We have 48 seats in total in a crew to two configuration. That means eight rows of business class. My seat for the flight today is 4K and sometimes I don't understand. Sometimes you need face masks, sometimes not. Who knows? Crazy times. Yeah, one good thing, if you fly, fly with Lufthansa, then it doesn't matter in which aircraft you are, everywhere are the same business class seats. They are old and outdated, I mean the 2-2 configuration in 2022 is not the best for me when I travel alone, you know, there sits someone next to you, you don't know, and if he sleeps, you, it's very difficult to get outside, so... I hope they introduce the new business class soon, maybe this year, maybe next year. I hope soon and then I can try it also. So for now the boarding is still in progress and I'm very looking forward to this flight. What offers this seat to their passengers? On the armrest in the middle between both seats, you find the seat controls. Also is there the table located, you just need to push it and then it comes out. Behind the table you find the remote control for the in-flight entertainment. On the other side, under the armrest, you find your headphones. The headrest is adjustable and also is there one reading light. During boarding you find some amenities on your seat. There is a big blue pillow right behind me. There we have it. One more thing, we have a blanket for the flight, it's a night flight, so very useful. And in front of you is the big touchscreen for the in-flight entertainment, some reading materials like the safety cards and some amenities like a bottle of water and the amenity kit. That's it, more about the in-flight entertainment and the amenity kit I will tell you during the flight. Here we have the menu card for our flight today. It looks like we get two meals on this flight, one big meal after the takeoff and one small breakfast before landing in Munich. After the takeoff we get some appetizers. The main course you can choose between beef, fish or vegetables and then some dessert or cheese. Looks not too bad and I'm very excited how it tastes. We are already on our way to the runway and there was no welcome drink, unfortunately. I don't know why, maybe because of the regulations here in the United States, who knows. But on my flight with American Airlines, there we had a welcome drink, so I don't know what happened. Merely make a strive 
Right after the takeoff, the cabin crew started with their service here on board. And like I said before, this is a night flight, so the cabin is really dark. I hope you can see me. For the first round, I get a glass of champagne and some nuts, so cheers. Let me show you the amenity kit before we get our food and I can tell you now this is really the baddest amenity kit you can get inside the business class. If you saw my first video in Lufthansa's premium economy from Frankfurt to Punta Cana there we get the same one in premium economy. I mean this bag is useful but it's ugly and that's it but let's take a look inside. It's the Around the World collection and for me today we have the Great Wall in Beijing. Very nice, but what is inside? It's not so easy to get everything out, but that's all we have. You get some socks, some creams like lip balm, hand cream, everything, a toothbrush and toothpaste and a little paper. Dear guest, please join us in protection our environment while traveling. To reduce waste you will find earplugs and eye mask in the onboard business class bathroom. I can tell you now that's not true on my last flight in September 2021 I flew with Lufthansa from Frankfurt to Johannesburg and there I had the same message and it was nothing inside the lavatories but we will look later maybe they changed it and they the eye mask and earplugs are inside the bathroom maybe they surprised me but if not you can ask the cabin crew and they will give them to you And here we have our first meal, the starter or the appetizer and the main course is on one tray. We have some salad and balsamico dressing and the beef. So let's try. Very tasty. Wow, the main course was really great and now it's time for a dessert. For me today, panna cotta, you know, I like sweet things, so let's try it again. Oh yeah, that's really good. My last stop for today before I go to bed, the lavatory and this time Lufthansa don't lie to me. Here we have it, the eye shades and the earplugs. So that's it for today. I go to bed now because it's really late and everybody wants to sleep. That's why I really really hate night flights. 
I can't show you too much. Tomorrow morning I have to show you the bed and the entertainment system. So many things to do before we land. Yeah, unfortunately it is like it is. I have to say now good night and see you tomorrow. A beautiful good morning I woke up early that I can show you now some features of the seat the seat functions the interflight entertainment system before the cabin crew start with their service the sun rise up already and I slept very well here on board I think about three hours of this eight hour flight not too bad only there is a cat here on board and the cat makes so much noises that's annoying but what can I do <laughs> I don't know why people took their pets with them on board but it is like it is Lufthansa's business class seat is not perfect but it is a 180 degrees live flat bed with the seat controls in the middle between both seats you can turn it into the flatbed and I will show you now how it looks like and that's the bed here on board the Airbus A350 the armrest to your right you can push up then you have a little bit more space for me I'm 1 meter 75 it's very spacious and I sleep every time very good here inside this cabin We are now over England and the remaining flight time is about 1 hour 20 minutes. That means time for breakfast. For me today it is cottage cheese, some croissants, some buns and fruits for drink, a black coffee and orange juice. So let's try. Not bad, but I have to say, cottage cheese is not my favorite for breakfast. Lufthansa's in-flight entertainment is really not bad. You have under your armrest the remote control or here inside the Airbus A350 you can use also the touchscreen function of the screen. That's really great. Not all planes offer this function. In all the planes like the Airbus A340, 330, the Boeing 747 you can control the in-flight entertainment only with this remote control. Then you have a lot of choices between some movies. Also, now it's after the pandemic, we have latest Hollywood movies right out of the cinema. You have also all the Hollywood classics, comedy, drama, action, whatever you want in different languages. Then they have some TV series. If I compare them to Austrian Airlines, I would say Lufthansa offers more movies and series than Austrian 
really great. Also, you can take a look on the flight map. On the flight map, you find where is the aircraft, which high, which speed, how long you have to your destination. Oh, and one feature of the A350 that's really great is this aircraft offers some cameras on board. That means you can overlook the whole plane during takeoff and landing. That's awesome. I like this feature. If you want to use the internet, the A350 is Wi-Fi equipped and you can buy some internet passes. There are three options. The chat option only for messaging 7 euros or 2300 miles. Then the mail and surf and the mail and surf plus for 29 euros or 9500 miles. <laughs> if I compare 7 euros or 2300 miles never use miles that's not worth the money it's you don't have to spend so much money for 2300 miles and 7 euros is a really great price for internet if you want to chat whatsapp messaging whatever you can do it here for only 7 euros that's amazing and use your miles only for free flights that's the only way to use miles The remaining flight time is now about 40 minutes and we're right over France. That means we will start our descent into Munich very soon. Unfortunately it was a night flight but a very lovely flight. And so it's in the morning now and you can enjoy the views of our approach into Munich. My summary of this flight you will hear later when I'm in Munich. So see you on the ground. Oh my god, did you saw the Air Force One? If not, go back to landing now. And there between two buildings here at the airport is the Air Force One Park because the US President Joe Biden is in Munich at the moment. But this, this was my first flight with an Airbus A350 and I have to say I'm really impressed by this plane. The huge windows and the whole cabin is so quiet, amazing. The crew on this flight was really lovely. You can say about the seat or the business class on Lufthansa what you want, but their crews are so great. They are friendly every time and you see that they, are, that they love their jobs. I mean, Lufthansa is not so bad because of their crews. It's only because of their management and the people who work for Lufthansa are so great, so friendly. I like to fly with them every time. 
if you fly with them as a German passenger, it's like coming home, you know. <laughs> yeah, if you like my video, you can subscribe my channel now and follow me on Instagram also. Unfortunately, it was a night flight, I told you many times. But what can I do? I try my best to make a good video and I hope you like it. I see you next time. Bye bye.